In this video, we're going to take a first look at horizontal menus. And whenever you're creating a horizontal menu, or a vertical menu for that matter, it's always about a four or five step process. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. Now, the first thing we want to do is establish a section that's going to hold our menu items. So we need to first make a section. And what do we use for sections? We use the div element tag. And so I've created an ID. We're going to use an ID for this. And I've called it nav which obviously stands for navigation bar. And so I've already typed out the code, so I'll go ahead and copy and paste it in here. So our background color for this section will be dark green. We're gonna set the height of this section to 35 pixels. We want the font size to be 25 pixels. We're gonna have a font weight of bold. We want our menu items to have bold text. And the font we're gonna use is Tahoma. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll refresh over here and there you can see now we've, we've got our nice green section now keep in mind that these some of these items like the font will be inherited right we're setting up inheritance here and you will remember that it starts out with a div that's the parent element and then we'll have a ul element and inside there is a list element and inside there is a anchor element and actually that's the five step process we started out styling our nav section and then next we'll do the ul element but before we do that let's go ahead and put in our html for our menu items and these are going to look very similar to the vertical menu list items that we used same process so again ul element the li element and the anchor element so as i said we'll start out styling the ul element first so let me copy and paste this. Now you will recognize this when we did those vertical menus, you always want to eliminate any padding or margin that the browser will automatically insert into our menu items. So we're just going to set this to zero because again, we want to control the padding and the margin. We don't want to let the browser do that. We're also going to get rid of the bullet points and we do that with the list hyphen style hyphen type CSS property. So usually these three will always go in the UL element section and then we want the text to be centered. So let's see what we get here. And there you can see we've got our menu items now. The bullet points aren't there and no extra margin or padding are being placed into here by the browser. But now we need to have our menu items side by side by side. And we do that by styling against the list element. So let's go ahead and paste some code into here for that. And we'll just move right down here. Now, of course, for these menu items to be side by side by side, we need to convert our list element to inline. We want that to be inline because remember, by default, they are block elements. So they will, they will be displayed in a top down order. To get elements to display side by side, you need to convert them to inline. So let's go ahead and refresh our page. And there you can see now our list items are side by side by side. And we've got 15 pixels of space between them. And that's good. And this vertical align middle basically just centers our text inside our section. So that's what that property accomplishes for us. And so now we need to go ahead and perform our fourth step. And that is we have to style our anchor tag. And remember the anchor tag is this area in which we get the hand. All of this area is the actual anchor tag. So that's what we need to style now. And obviously we don't want to keep this default purple color that the browser is using. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that. And let's just go ahead and refresh our page and I'll explain each one of these. So there you can see, we actually need to widen this a little bit. So there you can see now we got rid of the underline with the text hyphen decoration property. By the way, you might be asking, well, why didn't we put that up here? And the reason is this is not actually inheritable. You can't inherit this property. So that's why we didn't put it up with our UL rule set. We actually have to put this in our anchor tag rule set. And for some reason, I've got two colors here. Actually, I think we only need the white one. So let's go ahead and get rid of this property. Let's refresh that. I don't think that changed anything. No, it didn't. Okay. So, um, and we actually added eight more pixels of padding around our content for our anchor tag. So that gives us a little bit more room from the edges. The color of the text again will be white and we're using the vertical align middle property again, and that will keep everything nice and centered within our section. Now we need to add the hover property. And we've talked about that throughout the series. So everyone should know what that is by now. So I'll just go ahead and copy and paste that in here. Now, what we want to do here is just add a little effect so that when the user hovers over a particular menu item, we'll get a nice little contrast to inform them that they're over that particular link. So let's go ahead and hit refresh. And there you can see now that when we hover over each one of these items, the color actually is in reverse. So you can see the background is now white and the, the color of the text is now black. 
which we specified right here. And here we put the background color as white as opposed to dark green. And so that gives a nice little effect to let the user know that they are hovered over that particular link. Now, in the next video, we're going to actually take a look at buttons and making some really awesome buttons because I've had a lot of requests from people that want to do really professional quality looking buttons. So I'm going to put together that CSS code for the next video. We will come back to horizontal menus and we'll actually do some drop down horizontal menus in the future.